Hello friends and welcome back to Bitfumes. In this episode, we are actually going to create this search part in our phone book app. That means if I search here, there will be a result according to the search keyword. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is the channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So firstly, what we need, we need to uh, bind some data with this text box. So let's open project in Sublime. So open here, go to resources, assets, JS component. And now because it's on our home.view, so here we have, and we have this input box for search. So let's give V model of let's say search query okay so that's good we have to create this search query data search query which is empty okay that's good so let's go to here start terminal to run npm run watch command and obviously if you are on windows yes you know you have to open command prompt okay so this is going to compile everything and let's just go here refresh this page and now open view tab open home and now you can see we have this search query where's that yeah search query is here and if i type here something it's now typed here that means it is minded that's good let's go to sublime and what we want we want whenever we search or whenever we type something here the search result will occur okay so it's now look like we have to create a watch method and what this will do this will watch the search query so search query okay and this means if there is a change in search query data then this function will run so let's just use console.log to have uh, like this dot search query so that should be good let's go reload this chrome console type here anything and you can see everything is typed here this means this is working properly but what we need we have to say if this dot search query dot length is greater than zero whenever it is greater than zero then only we have to search then we have to say this dot lists dot filter and what is what the filter command will do filter command will create a new array according to the function will return okay so that's good but we have to use this es2016 function like this yeah okay so we have given this and this index is here so let's just see what we are getting console.log of index that's good go here reload this page and if i say a you can see we are having one two three four five field because we have five items here and every field have many details okay that's good so we are getting every field but we have to search for these fields so simply return and I will say instead of index, let's use uh, value or uh, item will be good. Okay, so item dot name dot so firstly I will say to lowercase and then dot index of and I will say this dot search query dot again to lowercase. Okay. And then we have to say greater than minus one. Okay. This means the name, if it is matched with the search query uh, result, then return this. Otherwise, do not return. Okay. So let's go refresh and type. And now type here. And we don't have any console log. So let's say let result is equal to this and now i will say console.log result okay that's good so reload this page simply say 
a so that there, there will be no cluttering here so what the result we are getting we are getting all these results but if i say a n we only have one field here this means we have this encore field so if i clean up this and i will say j only we have only one field called john this means our search part is working properly but we have to constantly update our list this list also but it's not updating so what we have to do firstly we have to say like this but if i say this dot lists is equal to like this so what will be the result let's see result will be like a and k that's good but if i back and empty out the search it's not populating all fields this is because now our lists item is having only one field you can see like here only one field is here okay so this is the problem so how to overcome this problem let's create a new field called uh, let's say temp for temporary okay i will simply say temp is equal to this so what exactly we are doing with this temp because we have the list here but we are why we are using this temp actually whenever we are making change in our list via search our list is now according to the search but we have to get some uh, other data where we have all the fields so we have this list where we are storing all the field and we are never going to change this list but we are going to change this temp while we are editing or searching okay so we have created this and now obviously we have to loop through not list we have to use temp here so looping through temp obviously the temp does not have any value yet so whenever we are mounting you can see we are saying this dot list is equal to this response dot data again we have to say this dot temp is also having the data so this means whenever we are loading the page we are getting the data inside list and the temp both having the all data but whenever we are searching we are making change in temp only not in the list okay so this is good on obviously if there is no field then we have to say temp this means this dot temp is equal to this dot list and this is actually the reason why i have used temp because if there is no item or if there is no string inside this search query then we have to populate all the results so this means when there is no length length is zero then we are getting the items from the list because we are not changing this dot list and passing to temp that's good reload this chrome and now i will say a okay n and you can see this is anchor but what if if i backspace hit backspace and yes you can see other fields are here and now all fields are exactly same as it was the last time so we have created the simple search here but the problem is it's not searching for other fields so you can see we have this email field what if i want to search for gmail.com if i say gmail uh, no result so in the next episode we are going to search according to other fields all the fields even for phone number for email every type of fields so if you have any doubt or if you have any kind of bug in this phone book series so please feel free to message me and comment me don't forget to subscribe like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram so your support is very valuable to me so we will meet in the next episode so till then goodbye